The future is already upon us. Artificial intelligence is becoming more prevalent in our everyday lives. Now it's making a bigger mark in music as technology is able to manipulate audio and mimic some of the most recognizable and famous voices in the industry. So what does that mean for the artist and for the fans? Our Phil Lipoff takes a closer look in tonight's Prime Focus. The lyrics of a breakup song, the voice familiar. Listen closely. Tell me when it's over. Tell me when it's safe to wait. It sounds a lot like Adele. You took my heart and be in my heart when you love to wait. But it's not. It's an artificial intelligence generated sound alike. Uh, all right, here we go. I have the lyrics. You're actually listening to this man. The track begins as a 27-year-old New York music producer is singing in his studio. A few clicks later, he harnesses AI to mask his voice with the vocal profile of Adele to make a song that he wrote and produced sound like it's performed by Adele. I upload my vocals, my raw vocals, and I put them in, and then it, within minutes, it converts it into Adele, Adele singing it. It's wild, it's absolutely wild. You have everybody from Ariana Grande. To SpongeBob. To SpongeBob, you know. <laughs> Going by the name Six Foot Five, he's produced for queer artists like Alaska, Nikki Dahl, and The Rosé, creating this song to demonstrate how easy it is to replicate your favorite singers. If you type in Adele. The vocal profile of a musician is like an audio blueprint of their voice, created by people from across the globe uploading hundreds, sometimes thousands of samples by an artist like Adele. The more popular an artist, the more clips are often uploaded, and the more thorough a profile will be. AI takes them all and builds the profile, and they're posted on websites available for anyone to use. These profiles made without the artist's or the record label's knowledge. And they can transform this. Here's me. It took my heart and beat my heart when you looked away. Into this. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what you did. It's just her voice now. Mm -hmm. Tell me when it's over. Tell me when it's safe to wait. It's these rapid advancements in AI that amaze and it terrify him. and the music industry. How frightened should the music industry be as a whole in terms of the chaos mm -hmm. that AI could cause? I think artists should be more afraid um, because I could see the music industry saying, you know, we, we don't really need you anymore. We have your vocal profile. There'll be thousands of people that will think, oh, it's a great Adele song. Are people going to start saying, Let, let's make a new Michael Jackson record. Let's revive his voice. Right. I, uh, no. No. But it's already happening. This morning, the Beatles are back. You know, I need someone. Legendary artist Paul McCartney harnessed AI to finish a Beatles track. We were able to take John's voice and get it pure through this AI. When Paul McCartney announced they had used AI to take a John Lennon demo from the late 1970s and turn it into a Beatles song, people were just like, oh my God, they're cloning John Lennon. What was the world's ending? Over the summer, one record divided the internet. A song that used AI to sound like Drake and The Weeknd teaming up, but it's not them. It's a creation by an anonymous TikToker who goes by the name Ghostwriter. That made everybody freak out. That's a little alarming because parts of it sound ridiculous, parts of it sound pretty convincing. If it sounds like that at this early stage, what's next? Ghostwriter even submitted the song for Grammy consideration, which the Academy soundly rejected. The Recording Academy update their rules every year for the Grammy Awards. It said something to the effect of non-humans cannot be eligible for a Grammy Award or something like that. As new as this technology might feel, AI has been used in music for years to create beat patterns and streamline vocal finishing. I actually got a call from the poor Recording Academy rep at 4.30 in the morning, her time, saying like, yeah, we had to revise all that because they had to allow for the fact that like the way that it could be interpreted, it could say that, uh, that you can't use AI on a, on a song and have it considered.
The song was eventually taken down after Universal Music Group filed a copyright lawsuit. ABC News Live reached out to an online profile claiming to be Ghostwriter. They responded in part, AI is going to play a major role in the future of everything, and music is no exception. I want to do what I can to spark conversation and move the industry forward, so we are taking the necessary steps to be ready for it as it comes. Atlanta-based hip-hop duo Earth Gang admits technology is what helped them begin their career. Tell me, baby, if I got a day, got a day. Using a laptop to get their start much cheaper than paying for time in the studio. By the time we were in high school, all you needed was a friend with a laptop. That made everybody in the school at least try. They remember seeing AI being used to create music with the inception of virtual rapper FN Mecca. It's an AI artist, which was some computer-generated black kid who had this type of style and the swag of so many black kids. They're actually living right now in the music that they create. The digital avatar went viral on social media, claiming to use AI to generate songs, earning a record deal before public backlash forced the record label to pull the deal, apologizing to the black community for what they say was their insensitivity. You're using this thing to make money when you can actually just hire somebody for real and just put money behind somebody who has a real story, who has real talent. They're trying to make a quick buck while, while cutting us out the processes. Earth Gang's new album, R.I.P. Human Art, is a satirical look at the role humans play in creativity. It is going to force a lot of people to actually be better and be different. You got a tambourine. Oh, yeah. You cannot have a tambourine. <laughs> Six Foot Five showed us how some AI profiles are better than others and how the technology works. This one is the one I used. But it's not perfect. AI kind of glitches, and it doesn't know what's going on at a certain points. He makes it sound easy, but it's important to point out he wrote and sang the song. I've come over in this time you let me. I knew that I wanted to put Adele's voice on it, so I had to do my own impression of how I think she would perform it. Do you feel like what you did for us is completely yours? Yes. You do? I do. Even with using Adele's profile? That was my own artistic choice, to use Adele's voice. I mean, why didn't I use Celine Dion's? And I still feel I bring like you were yesterday. Artistic? Sure. But legal? That's up for debate. AI doesn't even necessarily hit on copyright law. I don't think they envision you know, artificial intelligence at the time that it was made. There's something called right of publicity, which allows people to protect and exploit their own name, image, likeness, right? So someone's voice. There are no federal right of publicity laws. They're governed state by state. Universal Music Group asked Congress to place new regulations on AI. The group also announced a partnership with some of its artists and YouTube in order to create a framework when it comes to AI, including a set of principles that allows creativity while protecting their interests. Hundreds thousand songs a day being uploaded if you're a record label you're like okay sure maybe we can make our own ai tracks but what about the thousands of artists that we sign on a day-to-day -day basis we have to protect their interests we made massive investments carl folks an entertainment lawyer says some artists are adding clauses to their contracts when it comes to potentially using their voices for ai on the other hand, Warner Music Group made history by signing a record deal with the first AI virtual pop star named Nunori. Streaming services out there, they're going to have to have um, higher protocol and sort of maintaining what it, you know what it takes to upload a song. While the reaction so far has been somewhat split to these unauthorized releases and avatar-like creations, singer Grimes has said she will allow her voice to be mimicked by AI for a price. <laughs> all creativity and that's the way she sees it she says if you want to make my voice a building block for your art go for it just pay me and how about the fans will they accept the generated use of their favorite artist's voice would they ever line up around a stadium for an ai artist like what we see with beyonce and taylor swift there could be virtual meet and greets you put the headset on right okay. and now you're meeting with your favorite artist yeah. in, th in, in a virtual world Earth Gang says there is no stopping progress and the key is to work with AI. The whole industry is going to spread out both directions. So understanding how, to, how much to use, when to pull back, what exactly are you going to focus on. And while Six Foot Five has no plans to ever release this song, perhaps AI could eventually be used as proof of concept to help sell a song to an artist like Adele.
Oftentimes, they don't have a lot of time, and better on you if you can present them with uh, a proof of concept saying, here is AI Adele, Adele, right. already singing on this song, see how good this would be. Well, six foot five song, The Cape, works as a convincing fake, he admits there is one big difference between a copy and the real deal. I get over perfect pretty quick. Yeah. I want to hear the human element in music, in art. So I'd be curious if Adele actually sang the song, what? Oh, she'd kill it. Right? That song, that song would be so good if you could give that to her. I know, I would, I, I would love to, and I would love to hear uh, what she would do and how her voice would sound on it. Um, because there are just some things that machines cannot do. I think we'd all prefer to hear from Adele. All right, thanks to Phil Lipoff for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.